What's going on guys? It's Alexa back with another video finally and today I wanted to bring you guys kind of a double header. Um, I do have a product review that I want to show you guys and I also want to show you guys something that I have worked on exactly one week ago. Uh, me and my friend actually installed some reverse lights here on my 2011 Jeep Wrangler because the aftermarket uh, X-Sprite lights that I do have uh, the LEDs just aren't bright enough when it comes to the reverse lights, so I had to add some extra lighting. So I'm going to go over uh, what we did to install it, kind of the wiring that we had to deal with because that was also a pain, the mounting and all of that. So as you guys can see, I'm clearly uh, here in my garage and I've also had to change the light that was up there to an LED, which is amazing now. Uh, so much brighter in here and I can actually work and, you know, do things. So. Um, because I'm in my garage, this is a perfect time for me to showcase to you guys a product that um, I had a company reach out to me uh, to do a review on it. And at first I was a little skeptical, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I looked more at their website. So this is actually a company that makes headlamps, which is basically a strip LED light that you can attach to your head where you know if you guys are mechanics or you work on your cars or work on anything where you need some extra lighting especially if you work on stuff outside at night and you don't have the extra lighting this headlamp would actually serve you really well so they wanted me to review this product of theirs and i said sure why not so i do have it here and i'm going to show you guys everything that it does so uh let's go ahead and get right into it because i'm very excited to show you guys So here we have Odelphi. Odelphi, I hope I'm saying it right. I'm going with Odelphi, but this is the Strip Lamp Pro um, LED headlamp. It is professional headlamp used to provide premium lighting and it gives you all of the features and how to operate it on the back. But I'm gonna show you guys, and you know, it's very small, compact packaging, you know, very simple. And it gives you more directions over here. And I'll list uh, some of the features that it has if the text is too small to read, but it's durable and stretchable headband with silicone lamp shell. Um, it's super bright and it has five different lighting modes. This can illuminate up to 230 degrees and 150 feet away. There's 350 lumens of LED light output. It's easy to operate and it's just one button switch with five power modes and it's applicable to various scenarios such as running, jogging, camping, hiking, fishing, biking, dog walking, you name it. They have, they have a scenario where this headlight would be very helpful and you know for me being a car person that does tend to uh, work on my vehicles on my own a handful of times this will definitely definitely come in handy because sometimes I don't always have the light and I find way too often that I'm pulling my phone out and using the flashlight on my phone to actually, you know, light my area. And just having a head strap where all I have to do is click a button and even swipe my hand to turn it on and off is so much better. So I actually have the headlight out right here. Here we are. So here it is. Uh, there's literally only uh, two actual buttons on it. This is your power button. And this strip right here is the actual light. And there's another light here where you can do a spotlight. So that way, if you need to focus on one specific area, you can use this side one. But this one is unbelievably bright. And it, with it being such a wide range of a, of a strip, it lights up such a broad area. And I think it's awesome. So first, I just wanna show you guys uh, the power button. Look at that. Like, so that's its brightest setting. You can tell that it's on now, so I'm gonna turn it off. And in order to cycle through the different power modes, I just have to press the power button a little bit faster. So that's its brightest setting. There's it a little dimmer. There's the spotlight that I mentioned before. So now you can just pinpoint a certain area, say for instance here, like that. You can also make that dimmer too, but I'd have to cycle through the power modes again. So boom. There we go. So now it's on this dimmer setting. And I'm gonna turn it back off. So say for instance, I wanted to use the head strap and you know, if you're someone that's working where your hands are dirty and you don't wanna touch this, you can actually hit this button here 
this little signal and you see the uh, the little power strip there's a little bit of green in there I don't know if you guys can tell but because of that I'm able to if I were to wave my hand over it it can turn on and off so that way you don't have to touch it if you can't use your hands so I think that's awesome look at that Woo! so I want to show you guys how bright this is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all the lights in this garage and I want to show you how well you can still see all of my Jeep. So let me put this on and then turn these lights off. All right, well, excuse the hair, but <laughs> here it is on. And it does have a grip on the inside right here on your forehead so that way it doesn't slip off. And like I said, it is adjustable in the back. So I did adjust this so it could fit my head. So uh, I'm go ahead, turn my lights off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off. All right, pretty dark. And now for the headlamp. Woo! I mean, this is just <laughs> like, I, I can't believe how much it illuminates. So this is its brightest setting. I'll have to turn it off and turn it back on to get to the lower setting. All right, that's a slightly dimmer, as you guys can see. I don't know if it's blinding you guys in the camera. I apologize, but this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see me, but yeah. <laughs> now here's the spot bolt. Check that out. Now I can pinpoint if I wanted to look at anything specifically. Dimmer. And yeah. And now back to the headlamp. So this is the strip. And on its brightest setting, they do say uh, it can last up to three hours of charge time. And on the lower settings, it can last anywhere from five to eight hours. So it does come with a USB charge cord. Yep, here's the cord right here. That's what it comes with. And it doesn't really take very long to charge. I think it takes about two and a half hours to get a full charge. So if you had two of these, and you know you use something like this very often, and you forget to charge it overnight, you can have one that's sitting on the charge. Once it's charged, you can go ahead and grab the other one while it's charging. So that would be pretty cool. And uh, I'm glad I have two right now. So it's pretty exciting. But while I'm down here, uh, let me go ahead and explain to you guys what we did for uh, these reverse lights. So I'm not gonna lie, mounting these was a little bit challenging. Um, we did end up drilling into the plastic bumper because uh, the metal pieces that were under here, I can't tell you guys how excited I am that I can show you all of this without using my other hand as a, holding a flashlight. Like, I'm really excited. But the brackets that these Nightlights, uh, Nylight brand came with, the brackets weren't long enough to reach these holes back here and fit kind of here. It was, it was kind of going to be in the way. The brackets were a really odd shape. So, unfortunately, you know, drill into the plastic bumper and then use a different size bolt. We didn't have a socket that was large enough for the bolt, so we had to use a locking wrench in order to uh, fasten these into the bumper. So that's why you see some scuff marks because we were turning with a locking wrench and it kind of rubbed up on it on this side. It's not too bad over here, but definitely this side. I'll have to um, sand it down maybe and uh, get some rough sandpaper to try to even that out, but. It is what it is, you know, and I even put some uh, tint film on here. This is the same tint film that I used on my side marker lights on the front of the Jeep. These are a little tinted. So it's the same film that I used. This headlamp is amazing and it's, I can feel where it's, it's not even like hot on my head or anything. I can feel where it's a tiny bit warm, but it's not hot or uncomfortable or anything. This is pretty sweet, and <laughs> here's here's some of the wiring that we had to do. You know, he tried to, my friend Aaron, uh, he tried to help me tuck some stuff out of the way to make it as nice and neat as possible, but we did end up having to get some longer wires. We had to come up here, take this tail lamp off, and wire it to the reverse wire. Um, so that way it will come on only when I use my reverse lights, only when I'm backing up. And to show you guys how bright these reverse lights are, I'm going to put it in reverse and show you and compare them to the ones that came on the X-Bright lights. So for comparison, 
Here's the ones that came on the x bright lights. Like I said, not too bad, very clean design. They look good, just not quite bright enough. So with my added LEDs down here, super bright, very bright lumens. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what the lumen output is for these, but if you just sit here and compare the two, this extra lighting has really helped me out a lot so far when I'm backing up. So I definitely don't regret this install. We can clean up the bumper at any time, but this really helped and um, I'm really happy with how it came out. So shout out to you, Aaron, for helping me with this install. And now, you know, the next time we work on something on the Jeep or the Camaro, we got extra lighting that I can just put on my head and you know, we need to work under the hood. We don't have to like strap up any type of lighting uh, situation or, you know, sometimes your light is always just out of reach or just at the wrong angle, but with it on your head, hopefully it should always be right where you need your light. You can always, you know, change, change your light output. If you need to just do a little spot check, you can do that and it keeps turning off because my hand is near it. So you can always turn off that feature, obviously, but I like the accessibility if you ever need to just turn it off real quick. So, but yeah, good old reverse lights. Now you can see how dark it is now that I took, turned my headlamp off. This is so neat. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys that update and wanted to tell you guys about this product that I'm really excited about. And one of the reasons I'm very excited about it is because if you guys do decide to get one of these headlight, headlamp straps, I'm not even sure the best way to describe it, but Strip Lamp Pro LED headlamp, if you guys decide to get one of these, I am leaving the link to their website in the description of this video below. And I will also leave my discount code, which will get you 10% off of this purchase if you guys decide to uh, get one of these. I'm trying to tell you, it's really awesome. I'm not even being biased. I, I wish I had recorded my initial reaction when I first put it on because I was like, holy crap, are these bright? So I really think it opens up a realm of possibilities if you have to do any outside work at night or anything where you just need the right light in the right areas. This will definitely get you covered. So like I said, help me out, help this company out. Uh, check out the description box for the link and definitely use my discount code for 10% off. And yeah, definitely check it out, but it's it's a great headlamp. So another huge shout out to Odelphi. Thank you guys so much for reaching out and for sponsoring this video. I definitely think you guys have a great product and I'm really grateful that I got a chance to uh, try it out. And I really think this has changed the way I plan on doing any type of repairs or anything under the Jeep or under the Camaro at night. If I don't have the right lighting, that headlamp has definitely got me covered. So thank you guys again so much for reaching out and for sponsoring this video. But yeah, so stay tuned. I will try to drop another update video for you guys. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. I've been extremely busy these last uh, few weeks. Work has been hectic and it will continue to be hectic into next month. So just bear with me. I will try to get a video out to you guys as soon as possible. But Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you again, Odelphi. And once again, you guys check out the link in the description and check out this awesome headlamp and make sure you use my discount code. So thank you guys again, and I hope you have a great day. See you guys.